11 amazing fossil discoveries. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. Number 11. Argentina is the location of fossils of the world's oldest plants, some 472 million years old. Researchers found five fossilized species in the central Andean basin of northwest Argentina. The fossilized plants were confirmed as liverworts, a primitive species with no roots or stems, and are thought to have evolved from algae. Researchers have suggested that this could be the ancestor of all land-based plants. So here's one you may have to take with a grain of salt, or maybe a vat. Fishermen in Siberia claim to discover the 150 million year old fossil of an ancient lizard in 2014. It seems to resemble the head of a crocodile, and experts who examined the photos sent by the fishermen said it might be a dinosaur or a lizard from 150 million years ago. Experts in Russia seem divided on the issue. Some claim that it could be a marine reptile called Dacosaurus maximus, which lived around 161 to 100 million years ago. Others are more skeptical of the find and say it could all be a hoax. Take a look. What do you think? With sharks, one of the more primitive forms of fish, that has long been the assumption. Analysis of a 415 million year old fossilized fish has made some scientists doubt the idea that the primitive forerunners of modern jawed invertebrates were sharks. The internal skeletons of modern day sharks are made of cartilage. Unlike other fish living today, they don't have bony armor on the outside of the faces. In 2015, researchers from the University of Oxford and London's Imperial College asserted that bony exoskeletons were shed by modern sharks early in their evolution. Examination of the fossil revealed that it shared features with two evolutionary branches of early fish, those with skeletons made of cartilage, like sharks, and the bony fish that would later become land vertebrates and humans. Because the fossil has two faces, it was named Janusiscus, after the Roman god Janus, who had two faces. The fossil was found in 1972 in Siberia. Canadian fish fossils. While digging a basement for a new home in Alberta, Canada, Edgar Nurnberg discovered five fish fossil specimens in nearly perfect condition concealed in the sandstone. Researchers said the fish fossil specimens were found in a block of sandstone in an approximately 60 million year old rock formation called the Pascapu Formation underlying Calgary. A local paleontologist claimed that the ancient fossil fish have importance due to their being primitive representatives of a large group of bony fish of the modern era. One key element to keep in mind is their age, estimated at 60 million years old. Now that's ironic, because Edgar Nurnberg, the guy who discovered them, is actually on the board of directors for Big Valley's Creation Science Museum, a creationist museum that believes the Earth is only 6,000 years old. Dino Tail. The five yard long fossilized tail of a dinosaur was discovered by villagers in a Mexican desert in 2013. It was described as unusually well preserved and was the first ever dinosaur tail found in Mexico. The 72 million year old fossil tail belonged to a hadrosaur, known as duck billed dinosaurs, due to the resemblance of their heads to that of modern ducks. Found in the Coahuila state, archaeologists found 50 vertebrae in the animal's tail completely intact. And also found additional fossilized bones at the site, including one of the hadrosaur's hips. Researchers believe the discovery could help us better understand hydrosaurs, which were thought to range in size from 10 to 65 feet long and lived during the later Cretaceous period. Interesting that they only found the tail of this beast. Makes you wonder what happened to the rest of it. think it could be a scene from Jurassic Park. Thousands of bird fossils from the dinosaur era were unearthed in northeast Burma in 2016. Close to 100 million years old, the fossils belong to ancestors of modern birds. Despite the age, feathers of the birds are perfectly preserved after millions of years in amber and show no major deviation from the anatomical makeup of today's birds. Overall, thousands of specimens of feathers were discovered, including tiny bird wings measuring between two to three centimeters long. The huge hall of fossils was discovered in an area of Burma that has yielded thousands of specimens of scorpions, spiders, lizards, in addition to isolated feathers. It's believed that this is the first time entire portions of birds have been discovered. 
the Dragon of Kajang. Construction workers in southern China discovered the fossils of a dinosaur that lived around 160 million years ago. The workers were digging in Kajang City when they hit a row of large neck vertebrae that stretched out in the ground. Paleontologists reconstructing the skeleton claim that up to half of the animal's 49-foot length is accounted for by the neck. Most sauropods, or long-necked dinosaurs, had necks measuring only around one-third of their body length. While it's hard to imagine the animal being able to even lift a neck that long, the beast had air pockets within the massive bones of its vertebrae, meaning that despite its enormous size, the neck was relatively lightweight. Scientists think that fossils such as this may have given rise to the legend of serpent-like dragons that persist throughout China. The dinosaur was named Kajang Long, meaning Dragon of Kajang. In 2014, the North Sea yielded the skeleton of a woolly mammoth as a group of researchers trolled waters off the east coast of Rotterdam at depths of 100 feet. The area was a stretch of low-lying icy tundra some 40,000 years ago when the animal was alive. Researchers believe the animals used an ancient landmass known as Doggerland, a vast tundra that stretched between Europe and Britain. While scientists said it's extremely rare to find skulls of mammoths and large bones on the seabed, it's not uncommon to find bones of extinct creatures by dredging. The mammoth skull was initially found in 2010, and it's thought the animal measured up to 11 feet tall. North Sea Fossils, the research company that found the mammoth, also found the bones of Irish elk, woolly rhinos, and the prehistoric skull of a European bison. Fossils within fossils. You wouldn't think a location in an Egyptian desert would yield fossils of enormous marine creatures, but Wadi al Haytan is known as the Valley of the Whales. In 2015, the first ever complete skeleton of a Basilosaurus was unearthed there. Measuring 60 feet long, researchers discovered an additional whale fossil inside the larger one. It's thought the bigger whale was either pregnant or may have eaten the other whale. The 40 million year old fossil was found including small vertebrae in the tail, making it the world's only complete skeleton of the creature. Also discovered at the site were fossils of crabs and swordfish inside the whale, which may have been the creature's meal. So, this is an interesting picture, to say the least. To be honest, we haven't been able to dig up a whole lot of information on it, but we can tell you it's connected to the deep. The deep is actually an aquarium in England, and to hear them tell it, it's not so much an aquarium as it is the world's only submarium, their term. It's known for being a landmark center of marine research and contains thousands of sea creatures, including seven species of shark. They're also known for a wide range of exhibits featuring, among other creatures, sharks, rays, penguins, jellyfish, and they have an Amazon-flooded forest. So given the charitable public aquarium, or submarium, also includes a chronological history from the dawn of time to the present-day oceans, Chances are this picture represents a fossil of some form of sea or marine life. Now that being the case, what do you think it might be? In 2011, the bottom of a drain reservoir in Colorado's Rocky Mountains near Aspen was the site of a huge discovery of huge animal fossils. Fossilized remains of mastodons, mammoths, and a giant ground sloth were all discovered at the location near Snowmass Village, comprising what some scientists regard as an Ice Age graveyard of enormous animals that died some 150,000 years ago. In all, paleontologists have found over 600 bones culled from 25 different animals from seven different species there since the initial discovery. Check out some of the findings. 10 American mastodons, four Ice Age bison, four Colombian mammoths and Ice Age deer, a Jefferson's ground sloth, and a tiger salamander. They've all been positively identified. It is thought that the remains represent one of the biggest collections of creatures from the last Ice Age found in one location. Interestingly, the remains were discovered by accident as preparations were being made to build a new dam at the reservoir close to Snowmass Village. See you next week on Throwback Thursdays. <laughs>